Hey there, future medical mavericks. Today, we're going to delve into the realm of antiarrhythmics, zooming in on a go-to option called amiodarone. This medication is used in cardiac arrest situations for both adults and kids. And guess what? It also plays a key role in treating rapid heartbeat conditions like atrial fibrillation and supraventricular tachycardia. So, fasten your seatbelts and let's get up close and personal with amiodarone. Picture amiodarone as the conductor of an orchestra, keeping the heart's rhythm in harmony. It's primarily a class 3 antiarrhythmic drug, which means its job is to block potassium channels responsible for resetting the heart during phase 3 of the heart's action potential. By doing so, it extends action potential duration and prevents cardiac cells from firing too quickly, keeping tachyarrhythmias at bay. But get this, amiodarone isn't your typical class 3 drug. It's got some additional talents. It also blocks beta-adrenergic receptors, calcium channels, and sodium channels, slowing down the heart's rhythm and reining in those unruly pacemakers. Now, on to dosages. In adult cardiac arrest, the first dose is 300 mg given intravenously or intraosseously, with a follow-up dose of 150 mg. If we're faced with a sudden cardiac arrest due to ventricular fibrillation or pulseless ventricular tachycardia, a continuous intravenous infusion can be given after return of spontaneous circulation. For the little ones experiencing cardiac arrest, the dose is 5 mg per kilogram given intravenously or intraosseously. If they're grappling with ventricular fibrillation or pulseless ventricular tachycardia, the dose can be repeated twice, but not exceeding a max total dose of 15 mg per kilogram during acute treatment. Amiodarone's effects start to show as soon as 30 minutes to within several hours when given intravenously for arrhythmias. However, this drug is known for its lengthy half-life, which can stretch into several weeks, especially when administered over a long period of time. But it's a tad shorter in children than in adults. Now, even the best conductors can face hurdles. And for amiodarone, common challenges can manifest as adverse effects. These include low blood pressure, slow heart rate, cardiac arrhythmia, such as manifesting in a tricky type of arrhythmia called torsade de pointe, cardiac failure, and phlebitis. And of course, our maestro amiodarone has its no-go zones. It's not prescribed for anyone allergic to amiodarone or iodine, or those with a history of sick sinus syndrome, and in people with second- or third-degree atrioventricular blocks. So while amiodarone is a whiz at regulating heart rhythms, like all medications, it needs to be used wisely and with full awareness of its potential side effects. And there you have it, your quick guide to amiodarone. Remember, this is a potent tool in our medical toolkit, but like any drug, it requires careful consideration and understanding. So keep learning, keep growing, and keep making those medical miracles happen.